we've known each other for eight years now. So, I mean, in the beginning, it was just kind of, you know, I always thought, oh, this would be fun, but it's not realistic. And we're both former lawyers, and we were working in kind of a boring law job. Um, and we would talk all day long about books and movies. Um, and Amy had had this idea for a long time, and she shared it with me, and I fell in love with it. <laughs> Jumped right on board, yeah. I think a big part of it was creating a community space that people could connect with each other, because I, it just feels like there isn't a lot of that anymore in our world, and so we were like, we want a place where, like, what we would do at work, where other people could do that too. I had thought of a bookstore for a long time, but I hadn't thought of food or drink. And then when we started like talking about it more, we were like, that's a way that a bookstore could probably make it. But then it kind of evolved. The name of the bookstore is based on a short story by Ernest Hemingway. So that was, I think, the first yeah. drink that we were like, well, we have to have yeah, a Hemingway yeah, daiquiri. Yeah. 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 There are so many possibilities out there of like combining like a drink based on literature. And so we're really focusing on new fiction, art and architecture, cooking is going to be big just because of the community around us. Finding those selections that people might not be aware of or aren't, you know, front and foremost. We're doing like a classic section, but we're doing overlooked classics. Now that we're here, it's, it's really surreal actually. Some days I'm still driving and thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to the store and like, yeah. this is going to be our store.